Welcome to Focus Out and About, the programme where we talk to people we work with. In this programme, we spoke to Gary Boller, who is an illustrator and animator. We first asked him how he got into illustrations and cartoon characters. I did start at school. I uh, always doodled in all my books uh, to the detriment of some subjects. Um, and I guess it was uh, all the comics really, Beano, Dandy, were the things that everybody read and I loved those comics. And uh, there were some of the other comics that are now kind of forgotten. But there was Wizard and Chips, there was Whoopi, Beezer, Shiver and Shake, uh, and they had artists in there like Ken Reed who did Face Ache, and uh, Leo Baxendale who did all the Bash Street Kids. and. Um, so I really loved all that kind of stuff. And then I also saw a Mad Comic, which was from America, that was uh, around at the time. And that exposed me to uh, the Checkered Demon and a cartoonist called Robert Crumb, who was a kind of underground Californian hippie type guy. So that it was kind of a mixture of all those things really interested me in um, drawing cartoons, which is how it started for me. And then I progressed on to be a designer from college. Uh, and I used to do cartoons and illustration in my spare time. And then eventually that kind of uh, took over and became a full-time job for me. Uh, and then I really um, kind of became a character designer because I worked for, a, my agent at the time uh, had a production company. Uh, so I ended up uh, designing characters and then uh, later in the actual animation industry itself. I guess if it's a commercial project then there's obviously a brief and there's obviously a specific task that needs to be addressed. I really just uh, do lots of sketches and just try and find out what the client wants, what kind of character they're after, male, female, whether it's an animal, a person, superhero, uh, try all these things and um, we, we gradually mould the character into something that works works and uh, does, does the job for the client. My work has progressed. I started doing cartoon strips for the uh, Dandy and the Beano and I uh, worked in, um, uh, did a cartoon strip that was in the Times uh, for, a, for a long run and really Designing comics and cartoon strips is very similar to storyboarding and so there was a very small jump between doing that and then doing storyboards uh, for adverts uh, and then uh, character design and storyboarding for, for television as well. And I did work on a cartoon series um, where I was the character designer on that so I've worked, I have worked kind of across the board really. Well, I would say if you're designing for print or drawing for print, you're very much on your own. Obviously, there's the design company or the ad agency and the client. But if you're working in animation, you're part of a bigger team. So there, are, there, there may be many more people and you might just work on a section of it. I still work in pencil to begin with. Uh, not always. I can go straight into the computer depending on how complex it is, but I do like, uh, as you say, the tactile feel is the, the great joy of it for me and for many other illustrators and, and designers. So I initially work on paper and then um, it's either scanned in and then I work on it digitally. And this, uh, the digital thing happened, I guess, very quickly. And I just, I had a client and they wanted something delivered digitally. At the, this is going back away now. Uh, they wanted something delivered digitally and uh, I didn't even have a computer. So I had to get up to speed very quickly. And if you talk to people, a lot of people had to do that. And although it's taught uh, to, now it's taught in colleges and, and the youngsters kind of grow up with it. I had to kind of learn on the job really. But I think that's an effective way as well. Um, so as I say, I draw on pencil, um, then I, I work on the computer. There's a Wacom tablet now, and uh, so there is a, an element of drawing still digitally, and it's really surprising how, how similar it is to drawing on, on, on paper, really. And um, 
I would say I combine all thing I combine all things together, and I think that's a nice way of doing it. I've worked it on uh, productions where there's a there's a group of people, or I've worked on a contract. But the thing that I am interested in now is some of the uh, I'm, I'm a, with the technology uh, 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 that I'm able to use. Um, I'm able to work on smaller things, much more um, control, much more able to uh, explore styles and use a two-dimensional illustration style and then animate that. And that can be used for um, games and um, infographics and uh, small projects for the web. And I'm really interested in doing that kind of thing. They're kind of short-term, very interesting. Obviously, sometimes... Um, there's much more experimentation. People uh, will try different things. Mm -hmm.